Hey guys, it's me. I just wanted to quickly talk about the new CSGO update and it's more of a rant rather than a update breakdown. Basically, CS has released a new update and it's been gathering a lot of attention. It's regarding an anti-cheat update or an anti-cheat measure basically. Valve has introduced something called trusted mode which should be launched by default for CSGO as you can see here. Players now launch CSGO in trusted mode by default. While in trusted mode, third party softwares will be blocked from interacting with CSGO. Some people have found that a discord overlays have stopped working, OBS doesn't work, uh, Fraps is not working apparently. There are several issues with this update that still needed a fix. The thing is, this trusted mode was already released into beta on June 26th last month. And these issues were already apparent back then, but it looks like Valve still hasn't done anything about this issue. And this update is supposed to restrict any third party applications which are trying to inject DLLs with CSGO, which is how basically cheats work these days. But when this mode was released into beta, cheaters had already started testing this system and they found a way to bypass it already within like one or two hours from the beta release. And Valve has not done anything about this. Even after the update went live officially for everyone, apparently the cheaters have already found ways to bypass it. Here is a famous cheating website which offers uh, cheats to download and stuff. And you can see in the forums here, this uh, post was made yesterday, which is like, uh, when is it? July 9th. And he's already found a way to bypass the DLL check. And I don't know, like, you can even see in the comments here, like they are, they are, they, they verify that it's working. Somehow. My point is, even after Valve knows that the system doesn't work in beta, why wouldn't they fix it? Why wouldn't they wait or change something? They just released it exactly how it was in beta. With an exception of few performance updates, it's like they don't care anymore about the game. They are just releasing these updates because of Valorant. And it's been an issue. There have been rise of cheaters in the past few months. I personally think there have been a rise of cheaters because I've stopped playing this game for the past uh, few months when Valorant came out because of the number of cheaters. We were facing cheaters every single game since like March when the shutdowns and lockdowns started to happen. And kind of getting kind of angry about this. That I quit CS because of cheaters now. I, I don't play CS anymore. I haven't touched the game in a long time. Valorant is the place where I am. You can see in this article here, CSGO's new anti-cheat allegedly bypassed by cheat programmers in hours from the beta launch, not from the official launch. Look, you can see here the date. The problem of hacks and cheats is prevalent in nearly every title. The CSGO community has been facing the issue of rampant hacking since the game went free. Yeah, yeah, that, that's true. And many users are dissatisfied with the anti-cheat matchmaking in CSGO. I know many people will be saying that, oh, you're meeting hackers and just play face it, ESEA, or etc. I paid for this game. I, I didn't get it for free. I'm supposed to get what they offer without any issue as a consumer. Let's just not go there. I just quit CS now. See, a very recently announcement of February, blah, blah, blah. From what I'm told, the new anti-cheat has already been bypassed. In fact, one hour after it was released in beta. And even after the update was released, the hackers still continue to exist because they have found a way to bypass the check. Now this update is not meant to ban cheaters. It's meant to restrict cheaters and their trust factor. It's to isolate the community entirely. 
it's a good thing if you're not a cheater, but cheaters have already found a way to bypass the system. Then what's the use? Like we are just going back to square one. Now cheaters have found a way to increase the trust factor by doing those stupid steam guides and stuff. And apparently it's working. I I found like a blatant spin border who plays in a full five man lobby like three month, months ago on my main account, which is like quite a uh, good interest factor. But yeah, it's been causing a lot of issues. Apparently OBS doesn't work. Discord doesn't work. And you can't launch uh, overlays. And yet you still can launch cheats. Wow, you need to do something about this. Apparently, they are doing this because of this. The numbers seem to be declining. That's the only reason they're doing it. Let's see what they do. I don't really care, but I wanted to let you guys know that the game is still bad. Even if you hear that, oh, they have released a new anti-cheat update. Oh my god, they're going to do something about it. No, they don't. All right, this update was released uh, into beta last month and they haven't done anything to fix the issues that we have given them or submitted them. They have simply ignored everything. I think they're trying to like uh, release it uh, broken and fix it later kind of thing that I think that that's what they're trying to do. But you had they had like 10 days before the, uh, the main release. They could have done something, something to fix this, but they didn't and they released it as it was. Anyway. I'll see you guys later. Uh, I'm doing some changes to this channel. I'm also uh, starting uh, my streaming thing on Twitch. If you guys would like to check, you can just search out my name. It's the same. Self-flow. Peace.